Hey guys, it's Quickie Baby and welcome back to World of Tanks and this time we've got the pleasure of watching Saitama and Tanke playing in the tier 10 British heavy tank. It is the FV215B. But you know what's always sad about the FV215B is that look at the model. This vehicle, even though it's one of the oldest tanks in the game, at least at tier 10 heavy, has never been made HD. But that looks like that is subject to change very soon as a matter of fact. And that's because on the World of Tanks Facebook page for the Asia region, they just announced that this vehicle will be replaced by the Super Conqueror in update 9.20.1. And I also have a release date schedule that I've been able to dig around and um, find on some of the, the vlogging websites. And that, remember, this is all subject to change and just preliminary. And it's looking like we might be getting a super test this weekend, although obviously not everybody's going to be able to participate in that. Then it looks like we might be looking at a, a public test starting the following week on the 21st of September uh, with a second public test on the 5th of October. And that means the middle of October, there could be a 9.20.1 release. But again, everything is subject to change. This is just ballpark figures that I'm reading you out here. But what's important about this is what we just saw with the Fosh, guys. Remember, the Fosh 155 was replaced by the Fosh B, and everybody who had one in their garage effectively got a reward tank at tier 10 for free. You can use the Fosh 155 now to be able to train up your crews, and you've effectively just got an extra tier 10 tank for nothing. And so, if you are close to getting the FE215B, or maybe you're just an absolutely dedicated player and you want to be able to, to have this vehicle as a reward tank when it is retired, um, then you might want to start your way down that British heavy tank tree to be able to get your hands on it. Because it looks like you've got about until mid-October to be able to research it, to purchase it, if you want to retain it as a reward tank. Although I'd like to clarify that while uh, World of Tanks, the Facebook page for the Asia region, did say that this vehicle was going to be replaced by the Conqueror and this would join the ranks of uh, the special reward vehicles, it didn't exactly mention that you would be getting this for free. But I I'm just not wanting to make any promises that obviously may or may not happen. It could happen, and I think it will. My... My gut feeling is that, considering they just did it for the Fosh, I have no idea why they wouldn't be giving all the FE215B drivers this as a reward vehicle come 9.20.1. And you know what? The, the Tier 10 British Heavy Tank, it's not really had anything too weak about it. It's not had anything too amazing about it, apart from that rate of fire. People love this tank because of the amazing aim time, 1.7 seconds to be exact, and the rate of fire is 6.9 rounds a minute. That's contesting the DPM of many of the medium tanks, let alone the other heavies. It's top of the heavies bar none. I think only the, the T57 heavy is going to be getting anywhere close. But of course, if you're using a gun rammer on this, if you're using vents, and you can use vents instead of optics on this, that's because it has 410 meters base route base view range, the, the FV215B has just been this absolute kind of keep moving, keep rolling forwards, just keep shooting, don't even stop to aim because look how small the reticle is even when you're moving forwards. It's just this kind of shift and gun kind of tank. I was going to say run and gun, but that probably isn't one of the strongest aspects of this vehicle that isn't the fastest. It's limited to 34.3 kilometers an hour forwards and it's limited to 12 kilometers an hour backwards. That is absolutely awful reverse speed on this tank. And that means that it's quite easy for your opponents to get behind you. Even a mouse goes faster backwards than an FV215B does. Mouse goes backwards at 15 and this tank at 12, oh, definitely one of the weaknesses. And also that's another one of the annoying things. Fair enough having a rear mounted turret is lovely if you want to try and side scrape. But of course it does leave a big old front to your vehicle. One word of advice that I might want to give you though when I talk about side scraping in this tank is that you need to be very careful because if you do side scrape in this vehicle, do you see how the, the fighting compartment is actually shaped a bit like, I th don't know if it's a hexagon or an octagon, I can't quite see from here. But when you do side scrape, that leaves this whole triangle very vulnerable. A lot like on the Panzer 7, which I just had a showcase on Sunday. And everyone who did tune into that will know just how frustrating it is to get nailed again and again and again in your fighting compartment when you're trying to side scrape in that vehicle. We even had, in this very position, we had a Tiger 2 that situated himself here, who was just nailing me again and again and again, even though I was in a tier 10 German super heavy, supposedly. Fantastic play by that guy in his Tiger 2 there. So, Saitama finishes off the Type 4 Heavy, and while I, this video, its key purpose is to announce, uh, I just really want to give all of you guys a heads up that you've pretty much got about a month 
maximum a month and a half or a month and a week to be able to unlock this tank if you want to get a piece of it. Now, do I think it's worth it? Hmm. Well, I think it could actually be quite a fun crew trainer. And statistically, we'll have to see what Wargaming are going to do with the Super Conqueror. Uh, it's very likely that we're going to see the Super Conqueror playable on a test server, maybe next week, maybe the week after that. So if you're really wanting to hold off to see whether you, you want to get your hands on the FV215B, you can wait for that and uh, you know that as soon as the test server goes up, I'm going to get a, a video doing a full preview of that tank to show you what the Super Conqueror is all about. I think what Wargaming are going to do with the Super Conqueror is maybe... I, I just got a funny feeling that they might nerf the gun capabilities on the FV215B a little bit, but increase the frontal armor. I think they want to turn it into this kind of turreted monster armor British heavy tank. Whereas at the moment, this this feels almost like it's a bit more of a, a, a slower medium that bombs it around with its gun capacity. I just don't think that... I think that's the reason why a lot of people just have never really enjoyed the FV215B. The fact that it just doesn't really have the, the frontal armor or the side armor to be able to, to make it a, a true top tier heavy, right? So that will be coming up on the channel most likely next week or the week after that. I'll let you know all about the Super Conqueror. And the importance of how good the Super Conqueror is going to be is it kind of makes it whether it's going to be relevant or, shall we say, really attractive to grind towards the FV215B. Because when we look at the Fosh 155 and we compare the Fosh 155 to the AMX Fosh B, the Fosh B is just so much better than the Fosh 155 that even though you do get increased uh, crew training on your, on your Fosh 155, I just don't think that there is a point in using that vehicle. But that's also a good sign for the Super Conqueror. If we saw that the Fosh B was upgraded by pretty much about 20%, I'd say, especially on the DPM, the DPM is about 30 or 35% better. Now, I'm not saying that's what's going to happen with the Super Conqueror, as in a step up from the FV215B, but if they do make that vehicle way, way better, then obviously getting an FV215B is going to be less important. But if they don't make the Super Conqueror that good, then you might be missing out on getting your hands on a vehicle like the FV215B that could become a bit of a novelty come update 9.20.1. So Saitama and Danke then finishes off his seventh kill of this game. 6,000 damage in not all that many more minutes. And now, unfortunately, having fired all of his AP, AP rounds, he's having to fire his APCR ammunition. But this is where this just isn't really a fair engagement. That Tiger II has pretty much just got 320 Alpha and is going to have a worse rate of fire than this tank. And look how the FV215B manages to slam another shell into his lower plate. And even though the Tiger damages his fuel tanks and also looks like it knocks out his driver, that's his eighth kill and 6,700 damage that we saw. What a round here. So Saitama nails an ace tanker here, a Radley Walters for his eighth Eighth kill, 7,200 damage because one of them was blind, right? Getting him a high caliber. He also picks up a steel wall, although he just squeaks a steel wall, I'd like to clarify. 11 hits, that is the minimum requirement to be able to get a steel wall, and 1,180 damage blocked. Even with the best possible matchmaking for the FV215B, it can barely get a steel wall. This truly is not a heavy heavy. We're just going to have to see what Wargaming do with the Super Conqueror coming soon. And here is the World of Tanks Asia Facebook post. I'm just going to zoom in here to have a quick look at the Super Conqueror models. Oh no, that looks like quite a meaty cupola on top of this vehicle. But wow, look at all the spacing. I, it looks like it's going to have spaced armor over the front of the vehicle, also over the turret there. That thing might have a very meaty armor layout. And this should clear up any frequently asked questions. Firstly, the FE215B's crew will be retrained to the Super Conqueror. If you have any experience left over, it will go to the Super Conqueror. Camouflage patterns, inscriptions and emblems will be transferred to the Super Conqueror as well. And any equipment and shells that you have on your FV215B will be demounted and sent to the depot so you can choose to use them on a Conqueror or another vehicle and all of your statistics, marks of excellence and mastery badges will remain on the FV215B. And so there you have it, the Super Conqueror coming soon. Expect a preview on this channel in the next couple of weeks. And a massive thank you to Saitama and Tanke for uploading this awesome replay on the What Replays website and also putting my name in the title to be able to get my attention. Congratulations to you on this mammoth result. It was the perfect game to show what the FV215B is all about and to show why people might want to get grinding for it 
before, I guess, the Super Conqueror replaces it in October. And so hopefully all of you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And let me know in the comments down below if you have the FV215B or if you're going to start getting your way towards one or alternatively, if you have no interest. And as always, thank you so much for watching. You've been epic and hopefully I'll see you soon.